Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we are doing the recording of 13th of September's Kali Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to feel peace, feel happiness by imbibing something which is very important in spirituality. It's known as purity. Now purity is not just Brahmacharya. We are talking about something else over here which we are going to explore in a bit over here. So let's see what is the title of the blessing. God Father says, May you become perfect and complete. Now perfection is not in terms of financial perfection or mental perfection or health perfection we are talking about first spiritual perfection that means the mind the intellect and the habits have to become pure so god says may you become perfect and complete and experience super sensuous joy by making the foundation of your purity stronger so the foundation of brahmin life which is even your life you don't have to become a brahmin to become that you are already a Brahmin. Brahmin means Brahma's child. A mouth-born child, not a physical child. So Brahma over here is Adam and Jagadamba or Jagadamba over here is Eve. So you are a child of Adam and Eve. But you are not a physical lineage of Adam and Eve, but you are a spiritual lineage of Adam and Eve, whether you accept it or you not. So the foundation of Brahmin life is purity. For us to be in connection with the higher power, with the supreme power, the supreme creator who is ever pure, we need to reach a level of purity to imbibe all those qualities which he has or she has or in order to in order to feel connected to the higher being, to the higher incorporeal being, to the higher quantum field, to the higher invisible force, to the higher energy or the, to the higher light or you can call him as metaphysical field or energy so our energy field has to be purer so as to receive something from that higher energy field or god or allah or jehovah that's your calling now let's go ahead so when this foundation of yours is strong that means purity is there in your mind you will experience complete happiness and peace it's very simple purity means happiness and peace it's equivalent you can put an equal marks of mathematics in that purity equals Happiness plus peace. If you have little experience of super sensuous joy, a joy which doesn't come from achieving a goal, it doesn't come from earning a lakh of rupees or billions of rupees, it doesn't come from earning a lottery. I'm talking about, and God is talking about super sensuous joy which is constantly available to your mind and intellect without the experience of your five senses. That means you don't have to experience anything from your five senses to experience that joy. It is beyond the material world. It is metaphysical joy. And sweeter silence. Then your foundation of purity is definitely weak. That means the first conditions apply is not matching. That's why you don't have sweet silence. That means peace in your mind. You don't have super of joy. That means you don't have complete happiness in your life. So what do we change then? So it is not a small thing to make this wow. That oh God Father or oh Supreme Energy. I want to be pure just like you. So that I can receive the joy and the happiness. Which is... You're full of and that bounty of joy and happiness I receive from you directly. Irrespective of what is happening around me in this world. So God then says, Bab Dada. Bab means the supreme creator or the energy and Dada means Adam. He gives congratulations with blessings from his heart. Not from his mind, huh? from his heart. To souls who fulfill the vow of purity. Now in order to receive the blessing of becoming complete and perfect from this vow. Okay, Supreme Creator, Supreme Energy, I'm going to be pure, I'm going to think pure, I'm going to feel pure, I'm going to act pure. Now, that kind of vow is not going to benefit him or the first creator, but it's going to benefit us. So we're not doing it for him. We shouldn't have even have that kind of ego within us. So God then says, put a full stop in order to receive the blessings of becoming complete and perfect from this vow. Let's say you think about, okay, fine, I'm going to think pure, I'm going to do things pure, then I want to live in purity for peace and happiness, and what do I need to do? So you, God says, put a full stop to thinking, seeing, because the eyes are the windows for the soul, huh? ears are the speakers for the soul. So stop thinking, seeing, speaking, and doing anything wasteful and bring about transformation. In our life and then automatically in other people's life so stop seeing stop thinking stop speaking and doing anything wasteful no matter what no matter how anybody treats you 
no matter how people react around you no matter how other people are reacting with each other stop seeing that stop complaining stop spreading that negativity stop spreading rumors stop stop spreading evil amongst people if you want your peace of mind if you want your happiness and if you want to feel super sense of joy this is the first level conditions apply first condition and then there are many more other conditions but start with the first one you will automatically start feeling peaceful and happier bit by bit so first step which we learn in brahma kumari is this purity purity of our thoughts and mind then obviously about food habits there are purity levels then about relationships there are purity levels uh, apart from the thinking we are coming to the physical aspects now so food is physical aspect your relationships how you meet people and, and everything is also a physical aspect how you stay how is your lifestyle is also a physical aspect but most importantly god over here is talking about the spiritual aspect that means the non physical one your thoughts you cannot see right so it's a non physical thing so change this for your peace of mind and for your happiness whether it doesn't matter whether you're in a house you want peace whether you are in a job you want peace whether you are in a whether you're in a business and you want peace of mind anywhere we are dealing with people stop seeing negative stop talking negative that is speaking stop thinking negative stop thinking impure thoughts or wasteful thoughts why when what how who that's what comes right who did it acha this happened like this he said something like that to her oh my god so bad this guy is serious stop doing that thank you so much with the som shanti